Tyson Fury signs the contract to take on Deontay Wilder for the third time. On July 24th, we have an interesting summer full of boxing, man. I mean, I say starting from last week's fight with Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez, man. From that point on till, I guess, the end of the year, man, we got a lot of nice fights headed our way, man. But, um, yeah, Tyson Fury signed the contract to fight Deontay Wilder in the trilogy, which was forced by the arbitration. And um, him and Bob Arum and um, all of you do with Frank Warren, uh, um, Eddie Hearn, they all tried to pretend that as if Deontay Wilder didn't put a, a rematch clause into the uh, into uh, the contract. I guess they was hoping on uh, the clause expiring. But then they tried to skate off to the sunset to fight, to duck and fight. Uh, Anthony Joshua had Joshua ready to get the WBC, had him ready to go, and then you know they were you know fleecing the public, pretending as if the fight was already sealed, signed, and delivered. Then Anthony Joshua comes out, he's upset about it, you know, and it's a lovely thing to see, man, because he's trying to pretend as if he has an option. First of all, um, I believe if he was to try to not fight Deontay Wilder after the arbitration ruling, I, I believe Tyson Fury would face criminal charges, I believe. You know, but um, this is what he gets, man. I mean, why wouldn't you want to fight him the third time? I mean, is it something that, is there a reason why he don't want to fight him? Is it something he's hiding? Or is he afraid that he's going to get his, his block knocked off just in this fight? Which I think is going to happen. I think he's going to get his head punched off. He's going to get his head punched off his shoulders, man. And I, shit, rightfully so, man. The dude is a great fighter, man. But I just don't like his fucking characteristics, man. He's a real shitbag. You know, but um, it, there was a video or like a picture I've seen. Deontay Wilder came out. He was at his gun range. My man has his own gun range built into his house. That is real boss shit right there. It's crazy because um, I'm about to get some land soon and probably about 30 acres, maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to build a range on my shit. But, man, I'm, I'm wondering how I can get one built into the uh, into the house and everything. I, that's something that I'm, I'm looking into as well. So that's ball shit right there. When you could actually build a gun range under your house or into your house, which is... It's, it's just real ironic because I was thinking about something just like that. <laughs> Shout out to the young two other for that one, man. But yeah, um, that was a symbolic picture because he was shooting his guns and he had his gun in his waist, his pistol, had his rifle in his hand as a symbol of like, I'm ready for war, smiling like I'm ready for war. And then the target was shot all up in the head and all up in the chest. So pretty much, that's like Wilder pretty much saying, "I'm going, I'm tearing your head up. I'm punching your fucking face off, and I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cave your chest in." Man, hey, Tyson Fury is in trouble, bro. If he win this fight, pretty much, if he beats Deontay Wilder this time, he pretty much got Deontay Wilder's card, bro. You might as well just say that. There's no, there's no need for no more fights after that. Pretty much, Tyson Fury got his number. That's what it is. Sometimes that's how it go. Somebody just, somebody got your number. Everybody out here is always somebody better than you, bro. That's what it is. Errol Spence, somebody's out there that's gonna solve his fucking code too. You know what I mean? Um, Tyson's code was solved. Manny Pacquiao's code was solved. Uh, Terrence Crawford, somebody gonna solve his code. It don't matter who it is, bro. And a lot of times these fanboys and we like to hear that shit, like the Deontay Wilder fanboys, they just don't like that they that they boy may have had his cold figured out. Now that the cheating and and all that, I do um, question a lot of that shit because how come Fury didn't do what he did the first fight? But he did. He's all he was just his macho, incredible Hulk in the second fight. I just found that a little strange. And then I was watching Wilder. He did look a little funny in that ring. Um, but with that being said. Um, Tyson Fury's in trouble, bro. He's he gonna get. I think he's gonna get hurt bad in this fight, man. Um, I 
I think I gave a prediction on that shit. I might have to redo that. I, I don't even remember. I think I got Tyson Fury losing the, in, um, losing this fight already in the prediction. I got to go look it up. But, man, I'm telling you, he's, he's going to get his head knocked off, bro. Because, you know, Wilder not doing a lot of talking. See, when somebody don't do a lot of talking, you don't hear them really running their mouth. That's the ones, man. Sometimes, though, when you run your mouth, sometimes you actually, some people actually do accomplish what they say. But for the most part, it's always the opposite. And I think this time, um, Fury's going to get hurt, bro. Fury's going to get hurt. And I remember Wilder saying he, wanna, he wanted a body in the ring a long time ago. Hey, man, listen. It's not like people ain't never died boxing before, man. Hey, look, it's a warrior sport. It's a gladiator sport. You know what comes with it. You know, so I'm waiting for this fight. I, I, you know, Lord willing, I get to see it. Um, shout out to Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Get ready, bro. Um, kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> you know, I don't want to see nobody die in the ring, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, when I mean kiss your ass goodbye, I mean you about to get your head knocked off. You're going to get knocked out. This time, you ain't going to get back up. You can get that belt taken back from him and give it back to his rightfully owner. Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder, huh? We'll see. We'll see. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'm off this, man. Y'all enjoy your night, your day, whatever it is. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Peace.